hi welcome to the channel and today I'm going to be showing you how you can resize any picture to any size so first of all I'm going to show you how to resize then I'm going to show you how to crop and resize so not all pictures are the dimensions that you want them to be in or the ratio so hopefully this video will solve all of those problems so I've just got two images up here and the first thing I'm going to show you is measurements so for example I'm going to make this image the same size as this image or at least the same width as this image so if we click on this image go up to picture format and over here you'll have height and width now this box here is checked so that if I make any changes to the height or the width it will expand exactly as the ratio is now and I won't stretch it so for example the width here is 15.01 and if we click on this image here we can change that width there to match so 15.01 press enter and now those images are exactly the same width they're not the same height because the ratios are different i.e. this is just a shorter image than this one now if we wanted to make them exactly the same size if we look at the height of this top image you can see it's 9.02 if I go to this image here and I go to crop you can see we've got these black markers around the outside now with this particular image I can actually crop a bit off the bottom and it won't make too much of a difference so if I click at the bottom here with this little black marker and drag upwards you'll be able to see the height changes now if I move it so let's go 9.02 there we go and then just press enter these images now are exactly the same height and exactly the same width so that's how you can make the images the same size and that gives you a demonstration of how you can actually resize something to fit your exact dimensions now let's say for example you wanted a square crop for this image select it go to picture format and click on the drop down next to crop and then go to aspect ratio now here you'll have a number of different dimensions not only have you got the square crop here but also you've got these dimensions or these ratios 2 by 3 3 by 4 etc all the way down that you can pick one of these dimensions if it suits what you're looking for if we go for the square one at the moment you can see now I've been given this square crop if I want to make this square crop bigger or smaller I do need to hit the shift key at the same time otherwise the dimensions of the square will change and it will no longer be a perfect square so if I want to make that a bit bigger and then I can move this image wherever I want it within that frame once I'm happy just press enter and now you've got a perfect square and again if this square is too big or too small you can simply select it you can either resize it again hit the shift key so that you maintain that square ratio or you can just go up to the height and width here and change these if you make sure this tick box is checked then it will change both of them at the same time to maintain that ratio now if you want to crop anything to a shape select it go to the crop icon and then go to crop to shape now you've got all of your shapes in here but something you do need to be aware of if for example you want to crop it to a circle you need to ensure that your photograph is firstly an exact square if not your photo will be an oval so let's click on circle and you can now see we've got this perfect circle but it's only perfect because we had that initial square so for example if I click on this one go to crop and say crop to shape and go to circle you can see it's an oval because the original shape was a rectangle that will also apply if you want to change anything to a triangle is that triangle you can see it's a slightly wider triangle so let's say you had a frame at home and it was five centimeters by seven centimeters if we go up to the height and we just put in five centimeters and press enter here you can see we would need to change this to seven but it's changed it to 8.32 because that's its current dimensions and if we want 7 we're going to have to crop it so that the width is 7 so again go to crop and then we can move this to 7 go all the way along just keep going till it goes to 7 don't worry about the picture all the way along there we go 7.1 and then we can move this to center it and then simply press enter 
and you've got your five by seven ratios. So if you wanted to resize that but maintain the ratio, then you can just pull that corner edge out. If your frame is a five by seven by dimension, but is actually a different size, you can again go up here, enter those sizes, and it will change the image for you. If you're not worried about the actual size itself, more so the crop on the image, then of course you can go back up to the crop tool. Let's say for example, you just wanted a strip of toothbrushes for a headline, press enter. You can move them up to the top here stretch them out to resize them and then you can move them into the middle by going to the align tool and selecting align to center same goes for any image you want to stretch across your canvas we go back to the crop tool we can now just resize we'll go back to crop shape to a square there we go and if you want to stretch this out across your page you can simply do so by pulling out the corners. Now, if you do push and pull the top and bottom ones, you can see your ratio changes and distorts the image. If you do that and you want to go back, just press Command or Control Z and it will take you back one step. And finally, if you want to align your images, let's just duplicate this image. I just held down my Alt or Option key, click and dragged on that other image. We're just going to resize this image and bring it down to the bottom. There we go. I'm just going to square crop this image. So go to picture format, crop, aspect ratio one to one. And then I'm just gonna move that image slightly. There we go. Press enter. And then I'm gonna copy and paste that over to this side. And then I'm gonna deselect them, reselect this one, copy it, holding down that alt or option key. Click on the middle one. And then I'm gonna crop this one to a shape. Now to perfectly align these images, I'm just going to spread them out. I'm going to select all of them, holding down my command or control key, go to picture format, go to align. First thing is I'm going to distribute them horizontally, which means there's an equal gap between all the images. And then I'm going to align to middle, which means all these center boxes here line up and then just deselect. If you want to resize multiple images, just select them all, hold down the command or control key. Let's say we want to take the height and width up to six. Just press six, make sure the checkbox is ticked and press enter and Word will resize all of those images. To make sure they're all perfectly aligned in the center of the page, just go to group, make sure they're all grouped together or all selected and group them. That means they're all one element. Go to align and go to align to center. Now all be perfectly lined up in the center of your document. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.